Even after 12 days in Golisano Children's Hospital, George Alejandro seems pretty happy for a 12-year-old recovering from a ruptured appendix. I like to smile, buddy. That makes me happy. But that's because Alejandro was one of nearly 40 children who took the journey from the old hospital to the new one Tuesday morning. What they did was they kind of made us a little scavenger hunt. And on my way here, they gave us uh, certain items. They gave me a pinwheel, um, a leaf, a rock, and a bag of seeds. Once in his new room, Alejandro and his family say they could see the difference. This room is awesome because, like, the main thing I like about this room is that it's just you and the people that you personally, the, the people that you personally know. The old room, you had, uh, it was for two, two patients. So you had you, the people that you personally know, and then the other people, and you kind of had, you kind of had less freedom. But amid the joy of the day, it was also bittersweet for all those who had worked in the old hospital. Galisano Children's Hospital Chief Nina Shore says she first felt that emotion weeks ago during a dedication ceremony. That was the first moment at which I truly realized that for people that had worked, some of them for decades, in the old children's hospital, that this wasn't just a very, very happy saying hello to a new facility, it was a saying goodbye to a place in which they had cared for many, many, many children over decades. And while Alejandro is looking forward to going home in a few days, he and his mother know that isn't always the case for other children. So they're glad they'll have a nice new home away from home. It's, it's very stressful anytime you have to be in the hospital. So just having a pleasant environment, I think it's just, you know, less stress for the parents. I think the kids feel much better. So I can just see how this is going to be really positive for everybody. In Rochester, Tara Grimes, Tom Warner Cable News.